uh, in this problem, we have this uh, body fixed. And uh, N4 has a rotation of 25. We have to determine the rotation of the arm. So uh, we have to have our table again for the arm. And we have our body 2, our body 3, and our body 4. Gears 2, 3, and 4. And uh, we have to determine as our first step, our first uh, step in the solution, we have to get uh, first uh, this particular values for all of these uh, gears. They have to rotate all together with an unknown rotation of the arm. As a next step, we have to fix the arm so that it could have to have a zero rotation. And finally, of course, uh, uh, we have to have a certain rotation of the arm. But uh, with that, we know that this has to have a zero rotation. So uh, this gear 2 has to have the zero rotation. That means we will have to put it or to uh, rotate it back by negative NA. And as we rotate it by negative NA, we have to have NA multiplied by 20 over 40 to have this rotation of gear 3. And gear 4 has to have negative NA 20 over 40 and 40 over 30 when this is fixed. So the final uh, rotation of this must be equal to 25. And that means if we have to solve this, this is Na minus Na multiplied by 2 over 3 is equal to 25. And that means our rotation of the arm is equal to 7. Uh, 75. 75 times. So there is another problem. And we can proceed with the particular uh, epicycle plane, given another set of, uh, of values for all of this. So uh, gear 2 now has uh, a rotation of negative 5. And the arm is rotating, uh, rotates as 3. We have to determine n of 3 and n of 4. So by tabulation method, we can easily do that. Again, we have to have the arm. We have uh, the 2, the 3, and the 4 gears. Gear, gear 3, gear 4, and uh, gear 2. Uh, the arm now has a rotation of 3, given. And we have to put uh, the more we have to uh, to uh, lock them all together, rotate the arm along with the others. So that will be three and three and three. And if that is uh, the rotation of uh, the whole mechanism, we can now proceed with the next step, where we have to lock or we have to fix the arm so that uh, its final rotation will be three. And then uh, there's another thing that we have to put here. It will have to be negative five as a negative as a final rotation. That will that means we have to give it a rotation of negative eight. And with this as negative eight, uh, this uh, gear three has to be eight times uh, twenty over forty. And with that 3 and uh, 20 over 40, 
we can determine the value of uh, the rotation of the tree. And again, the uh, our gear four has to have eight, twenty over forty, and uh, forty over thirty. So uh, this gives us a value of seven.